been on a little secret. Today is December the 11th and it is actually my birthday today. So what a better thing to do than to film a YouTube video on my birthday because I absolutely love making YouTube videos. So this is actually a great way to celebrate my birthday. So in front of us, we have all the Christmas decor items I'm going to be adding around my living room and my house plans. Got a variety of things here and a zipper is trying to steal my light up snowman. This is not a dog toy, my friend. You know better. You've seen the snowman before. It is not new to you. We do not steal snowman when they're not dog toys. His name is Trouble. I swear that's his middle name. And he doesn't love the tripod. He just stole my light up snowman. Zipper, this is not okay. You can't be stealing my snowman. This is not a dog toy. I'll give you a quick glimpse. This snowman does light up. And it most definitely is not a dog toy. So. This little man has the wrong idea. We're gonna start our project today with tackling my pothos plant. Gonna tidy it up a little. I have another pole for it to climb on. So we're gonna see if it'll reach up to the ceiling and we're gonna string some fairy lights around it. But I did notice some casualties going on here. Look at these leaves. I don't know what's going on. I did water this plant not that long ago. Like, oh, it feels a little bit dry, but it wasn't really that long. So I don't know why it's so wilted, but it's only one section of the plant and the rest is doing pretty well. So I think I'm just gonna cut this section off and then we're gonna do a little twisty twiny action and try to get this plant to climb a little higher. I start with just trimming it right about here. I can get my scissors in there. Does not want to cut. There we go. Take out that piece. That looks a lot better. And now we'll add some poles with light. Here is the pole I'm going to be adding. This is a souvenir from when I used to have a Monstera Deliciosa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So we're going to repurpose it, make it a little prettier with some lights and give it to my pothos to see if the pothos can have a better outcome than the Monstera did. So we're going to add our Moss pull onto this. Oh shoot, it's too tall. I hope you can see that, but it hits the ceiling, so I'm gonna have to adjust this pull a little bit. There we go, that's not too shabby. I kind of like the effect. I almost think I should string some on this lower section. I love the look. Oh my goodness. I stepped out of the room as a little intermission filming my video and I think he just destroyed my snowman. Did you just destroy my snowman? We're trying to take it outside. We're going to find the evidence. I am quite sure this is part of my snowman. Oh my God. This is what life with a golden retriever is like. Real life. There's my snowman. Well, I guess it's entering the, the world of uh, the garbage can. <laughs> it's not going anywhere else. That's too bad. Maybe I can repurpose this hat on one of my house plans, but... I think the rest of this is going in the garbage. I think that's probably enough. I think 
just a few little Christmas balls give the snake plants lots of character and sparkle and you don't need to put too many on there. Moving on, I'm going to try to wrap a string of fairy lights around the trunk of, I think we call this a cane dr dracaena. I can't even remember. I did look it up in my last video, but my memory is not always the best, especially after two nights of sleep deprivation. Actually, this is kind of working, this little around the bend technique here. First, I want to show you what I discovered just doing this right now, which is, I think it's pretty exciting. Maybe you'll think it's exciting too. I think this is super duper exciting. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There is a new grove coming out of the trunk of the tree. I think it's super exciting because that has not happened since I've had this. And I've had this, I've had this Dracaena, I think it's a Dracaena cane plant or something. I've had this plant for, I want to say three years at least, and it has not done that at all. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to add a little more lushness to the top. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to add a little sparkle and twinkle to my beloved rubber trees. These are my absolute favorite houseplants in my collection and they definitely deserve to have a little bit of sparkle in their lives. like this one here which I think is my burgundy one is doing quite a bit better than the one with the pink tones but they're both doing really well actually I just had to stop and show you these leaves I think they're fairly new and oh my god they are so lush and silky and I want to call them sexy leaves like they are just so beautiful i think the camera is capturing the glossiness oh my god you are so sexy these leaves oh my god i love them so much